Alright, hey guys, Trav again. This is Kid Dracula again. And we're gonna go back to Cal's channel to pick up a few things before we actually go through the underside of it. By a few, few things, I mean one thing an MP up. So I can go underwater. Get the MP up the first time? Or? Because you, it's uh, underwater. Oh, yeah, you just have the ability to go underwater. Yeah, and you get the serpent scale after the lighthouse. So uh, we gotta came back to the top section first to get. This MP up, right here. I assume that chest you walk past with the HP up. Or... or a hard up, one of the two. I don't know. But yeah. There's a cat. We saved it. Well, magical tickets are important. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna go. That's why I'm going to buy several of them from this hey, guy. Want to buy something? I wonder why you uh, left this in, actually. Well, I don't know. It's important to the run hmm. to know that I got the caustic boots yeah. and three match caustic tickets. Boots to know are that I didn't. very important. Run back again. Really critical I item. Oh. I didn't have any boots before, alright. <laughs> I should know his feet were starting to hurt. Yeah. And now I've got boots. I think, yeah, I'm also going to start the uh, side quest with this guy so I can get better boots. Yeah. Right. There we go. Started. Alright. I don't think you really need to grind to finish that quest, but for the uh, dress one, there's really no way to get cashmere except sitting there grinding for it over and over. And I will not be doing that. Yeah. So, don't even have to worry. Anyway, just taking the strength ring off because I'm using magic now. Alright. Now we are going we'll go to, to the, the new area of Calidus Channel. The underside of water. This is another pretty long area. First underwater yeah. area. Or the only water underwater area, rather. No, there's another one later. Oh, yeah, there is. There is. But yeah, the uh, mechanics for underwater, you can just jump whenever you want, no matter where you are. So you jump infinitely underwater. Uh, it's pretty easy to control. It's not annoying at all. You're not slow. Basically the best thing. I do think this is uh, another area where there's long spaces in between checkpoints, so... Yeah, there is one save point in this area, in the middle of it. So you have to be careful and you know what you're doing to get through here, because you do not take very many hits. On hard mode. Especially in this run with only 128 health. Is Luminatio it? is kind of weak right now, but it'll get better. The uh, 128 health isn't too much of a handicap right now, but later on in the game, it will become a very significant handicap. Lumen. Yeah. And right now, Radiant. pretty much everything's two hits. Radiant. Later in the game, uh, it gets a lot harder. Anyway. I think we're gonna go to an optional thing first. This is the most annoying room oh, in the entire game. I, yeah, I hate this. You have to push this explosive thing along while these terrible blue things just won't leave you alone. Yeah. And if you if you hit the explosive, it explodes, obviously. Do you even get anything so, good for doing this? Oh yeah. You do. Uh, It'll be worth it. So annoying. <laughs> It is extremely annoying, and I don't know like why you just go past it sometimes and just don't push it all the way. Do things but keep respawning. Yeah, they keep respawning. The gel sows, they are terrible. Oh my god. Anyway, luckily the explosive doesn't hurt you. No. <laughs> but okay. it does break this. And there's, there's an invisible thing, or a hidden room over here. There's three chests. Oh. MP up, HP up, and a hard up. We are getting one of them. If you can imagine, I got the two wrong chests two times in a row. <laughs> I had to do this three times. And so, yeah. I believe that uh, other doorway that you didn't go through is a shortcut back up to the other part of Calidus Channel. Yeah, it's up to the surface. Which, uh, I think you can like use that to go get the safe point in the middle of there. I don't know if that'd be useful or not. I could, yeah. Didn't think about. Well, it might be difficult maybe, to maybe, get maybe. to. So. 
No, it's actually right there. You should have LP'd this game. What am I doing? <laughs> but no, there's a safe point right here. I'm joking. Oh. This level is... Like, I'm skipping most of it because I don't need a lot of the stuff from it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of optional stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of optional paths that lead to treasure chests and things. But the main things I need from here are the glyphs. Like, this is a very important glyph here, the scutum. Oh, uh, yes. It's extremely useful. I never yeah, really uh, thought thing. to use scutum very much until you told me all your pro tricks. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna see be seeing one of those pro tricks in the next video, but for now, we're not gonna use it. One optional path we have to go to is this way. Um, there's a villager down in the far corner of this stage. It's kind of hard to get to. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is the one villager I always forget about and just have to go to game facts. Oh yeah. This. I, I can well, never you don't want to remember you don't, all of them. You don't, want to, you don't want to forget this villager. Because she's one of the useful ones. That is yeah. the uh, gym lady. Or... No, this is actually the uh, seamstress. Oh. Let's see. Yes, that's a very good she'll, one. She'll boost, she'll boost your magic abilities. So I get, are you going to get the rat? I don't think I can get the rat right now. Oh. Luckily, there's an MP up there, and that chest is not an HP up or a hard up. It's actually something I can use. Anyway, I used a Glyph Union uh, earlier up there to kill a really annoying enemy here that we won't see for a bit. Oh, yes. Let's see. Very annoying enemy. Probably we'll see him one after of the we most come annoying back. enemies, actually. Oh, yes. We also got the uh, Magician Ring. Very important for this magic run. There's Monica. Yeah. The um, enemy here, I'm going to use a Glyph Union on it because it's extremely deadly and extremely fast. I believe on normal mode it goes at a relatively sane speed, but then it cranks it up to Mach 5 when you play on hard. Yeah, there's, there's so many fast enemies in hard mode, I don't... <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy. Of course, if it hits you, not only does it do a bunch of damage, it also poisons you, so... You're dead, yeah. pretty much. Po I don't think poison can kill you, can it? Um, uh, I I don't know. I never uh, left it on long enough to check. Oh yeah. Well, I can't use anti venom. So. Uh, what? Well, I think you could allow yourself to use anti venom. It's kind of. I'm not going to. So I'm not using that. I'm not using anti venom. It's final. Not happening. Uh, Coming up on the end of the stage. But before that, we've got a one of my favorite glyphs, my favorite magic glyphs, rather, to grab from this guy. Uh, yes. He's gonna cast it, and we're gonna steal it from him. Those demons always have the glyphs. Where you got Grondo. Grondo the is cliff. important for one area Grondo is awesome. in particular. Grondo is awesome, and I almost died here. Look at this, Jesus Christ! Well, you made it to the yeah. exit, safe and sound. Yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah, that's the end of this for now. Well, you have to go back to Wiggle Village and watch you refill your health. Oh, yeah. So Shinoa needs to rest after that, so I'm gonna let her sit down. Oh, no, actually, I'm talking to Monica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. You probably uh, cut this part out at the end. No, no. The video. But... It's important. It's important. Well, I guess anyway, we'll see you next... guys next time. Yeah, later.